Will Tesla introduce a flying vehicle to the market? What happens when an electric car manufacturer and a rocket manufacturer club together for a project? What outcomes would you contemplate? Well, if both of them happen to be Elon Musk, you could certainly expect an infusion of both, an electric car capable of flight. Hey guys, welcome back to Wealth Up. Today, we shall have a deep dive into the greater possibilities of Tesla introducing a flying vehicle to the market, so stay glued to the end to grasp every bit of it. Elon Musk's insane ideas have never failed to stun space and tech fanatics. Yet again, his latest idea of a flying vehicle, the upcoming Tesla Roadster, has undoubtedly left people astounded. It's been a win-win situation for Tesla. Tesla in the last few years has attained some insane targets which seemed quite impossible to start with. Let's take a look at some of its recent achievements. Just a year ago, Musk confirmed that Tesla had managed to produce 1 million electric vehicles which are huge. They've permanently changed the perspective of people towards electric cars. Seems like they're keen on dethroning fuel-run vehicles. Also, Tesla's Model S became the first ever electric vehicle to break the 400-mile range barrier, having a range of 402 miles on a full charge. Thanks to Tesla, America now has the lowest-costing solar panels ever. Tesla now plans to focus on putting more ambitious plants into action, developing the Gigafactory in Germany and Texas, creating the stainless steel beast Cybertruck, Robotaxis, and the most awaited second-generation Tesla Roadster. So how did it all start? The Timeline of Tesla's Roadster With a deep back history attached to it, the Roadster is quite special for Tesla because it was the first ever car manufactured by Tesla Motors back in the year 2006. But the irony is, when the rumors of a laptop battery-powered car spread in the market, the idea sounded bizarre to many people out there. It shot down all those doubts upon its launch as the lightweight Lotus architecture-based car had a range of 244 miles on a full charge. Then entered the upgraded Roadster 1.5 in the year 2008, which could sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in as little as 4.6 seconds. Well, that's something surely unprecedented. In addition, it produced no tailpipe emissions and was powered by rechargeable lithium-ion cells. Wasn't it great that Tesla introduced such a high-performance vehicle that generated no emissions and burned no oil? But as a matter of fact, only around 2,400 of these luxury cars were sold, and most of you might not even remember it today. And why not? Its starting price was right around $109,000, and that's not exactly what an average consumer would desire. Its production came to a sudden halt in 2012 when Tesla decided it was time to focus on its Model S sedan, which was quite well acclaimed by the automobile critics. Tesla got a great lesson with this endeavor. It might not have been the best experience for them, but certainly helped them set a base for what it is today. Musk and his claims of a flying Tesla Roadster Most of us are not great fans of traffic. Musk, therefore, looked for a long-term solution in the form of a flying vehicle. While Musk and flying cars is not a very bang-up-to-date idea, it's always been on his A-list. He had stirred this debate back in November 2017 when he first expressed the possibilities and hopes of launching a flying car. Though it just seemed like yet another eccentric idea of the maverick billionaire, he expressed that he was quite serious. In 2019, he even shared a gif of a levitating car with blue light shooting from its wheels, claiming that their new Roadster would do something like this. He even tried to explain his concept, citing the use of SpaceX's technology to make it capable of flight. Most minds were skeptical about the concept and doubled its implementation in real life. Well, who'd imagine a car flying in the open sky, right? On the contrary, Musk burst all those bubbles with his announcement of launching the Tesla Roadster roughly around 2023, which was originally planned for 2020, but, like many of other Tesla's projects, got delayed. The man who always laughed at the concept of flying cars is planning to launch one soon. How ironic, right? Upcoming Tesla Roadster Igniting Hopes of an Automobile Revolution Does all the claims and hints given by Musk mean you should now expect a flying car in the coming years? For that, let's sneak into the capabilities of the Tesla Roadster. The new Tesla Roadster would be an amazing addition to the Roadster's lineage, replacing the nameplate worn by the first ever model. Unveiling the concept in 2017, Musk had given some vague ideas about its performance. As of now, it aims to present it as a halo vehicle that intends to wipe out fuel-powered vehicles. You might be wondering, what's so special about the latest version of the Tesla Roadster? With a crazily expensive price tag of $200,000, the Roadster would be able to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.1 seconds. Yes, you heard that right. In addition, it would have a top speed of 250 miles per hour and a range of 620 miles. Isn't that just insane? That's not about it, for here comes the most anticipated part. Musk also announced that the latest Tesla model would be quite a special SpaceX edition. Wondering how? Let's dig into these details. The Rocket Science Behind a Flying Car 
Do you remember Doc Brown's DeLorean time machine hovering above the ground? Musk's idea of lifting these Tesla Roadsters seems quite a similar concept. The car would be equipped with cold gas thrusters to boost its performance and provide it with the ability to fly, though for a short while, which means that it won't be a fully-fledged flying vehicle, but will surely rise above the ground. What does the thruster do, and how would it help lift a car? These thrusters wouldn't actually combust, rather, they'd expel highly pressurized cold air which would give an extra dose of acceleration to the car. Also, Musk is planning to incorporate a key piece of hardware from SpaceX's most popular Falcon 9 rocket, which would be a tank known as a composite overwrapped pressure vessel. It's a lightweight bottle made out of a thin metal liner that's wrapped in carbon fibers. These are a great way to store pressurized air in a small space. For the Tesla Roadster, Musk plans to use these as thrusters. Yeah, right, they'd be employed to blow air out of the back end or front of the car which would propel or stop the car. So his idea is to arrange 10 small thrusters around the car which would improve acceleration, braking, cornering, and will even allow them to fly because of the insanely high velocity and momentum. As Elon had said, it would produce 3 tons of thrust on Earth which is enough to lift the car a meter or two above the ground. How feasible is the idea of a flying car on the road? As Musk had said, thrusters would lift the Tesla Roadster just a meter or two above the ground, which makes people wonder if the idea is feasible in terms of a busy road. No one would want to be hit by an insanely speeding car, of course. Moreover, commercial cars in the market have never implemented this idea, and hence Musk's idea of fitting rocket thrusters in cars to turn them into road-going spaceships seems a bit doubtful. Tough road, but when we're talking of Elon Musk, nothing seems impossible. His first ever Roadster proved that electric vehicles could be fast. Real fast. Now we have the upcoming version, which, if becomes a reality, would bring an automobile revolution being the original product and every other product out there. When originally announced, the idea seemed like a fantasy, but as of now, we have Rimac Automobile's Navara, which can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.85 seconds. It would be really exciting to see if Tesla's edition would be able to beat that with its claimed 1.1 second speed in the same time interval. The question that arises is when would this happen? The masses have been eagerly waiting for updates on this upcoming wonder. The Tesla Roadster has already been delayed ever since it was announced. Originally announced in 2017 and then postponed to 2020, it is now intended to be launched in 2023, but only if 2022 isn't a mega drama, as quoted by Musk. But with all those speculations cornering it, we're hopeful that the wait would be worth it. Well, the possibilities are endless. As of now, things are on standby, but who knows, we might get to see a Tesla Roadster taking off in 2023. What do you guys think? Will Tesla finally introduce the second generation of Roadsters in 2023? If yes, will they be capable of flight? What are your speculations on this? Do let us know your views in the comment section below. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and share it with your technophile friends. Subscribe if you haven't already, and do press the bell icon to never miss any updates from Wealth Up. See you next time with an even more exciting topic. Stay tuned.